Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about self-care and tips and ideas that you can use to start taking care of yourself. So today I have 25 awesome self-care ideas for you. Jumping right in, number one, get enough sleep. Ooh, that's probably a hard one for a lot of people, but probably one of the most helpful tips on this list. Sleep can affect all sorts of different things, including our mental health. A tip for getting enough sleep is to turn off all of your devices about an hour before bedtime. LED screens can really affect our brain's ability to naturally produce melatonin, which is a hormone that our body relies on to make us feel tired and sleepy. Number two, create a gratitude list. Write down 10 things that you're grateful for in your life. Three, make a list of positive affirmations. What are some things that you like about yourself? Try to challenge yourself to come up with three ideas and add a new one each day. Number four, take a nature walk or a hike. This can be an awesome opportunity to practice a skill that I keep talking about in a lot of my coping videos, five, four, three, two, one. As a quick recap, this is five things you can see, four you can hear, three you can feel, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. Five, treat yourself with something that feels good. Could this be getting your hair done, getting your nails done, buying a nice new outfit that you feel comfortable and confident in. Don't be afraid to treat yourself. You deserve it especially my mothers out there. Number six is exercise. Try to get up and move around. Try to do it for about 30 minutes at a time, three times a week to start. Exercise can really help improve your mood and boost your self-confidence. Number seven is to light scented candles. You can pair this with another activity like journaling or making your gratitude list. Speaking of journaling, number eight is journaling. And if you're having trouble knowing what to write about, I have a bunch of free prompts that are on my Instagram page. I have an entire album dedicated to free prompts, so feel free to follow. You can also Google free journal prompts and there are tons of them available online. Number nine is taking a bath, a bubble bath, or if you don't have a tub, then just take a hot shower and wash the stress of the day away. Number 10 is do something creative. This can be drawing, it could be painting. If you aren't artistic, that's okay. You can still do all those things, but you could also do something like creative writing. Get those creative juices flowing. It can be really, really good self-care. When we're creative, we create something that is originally our own and that can be really, really special. Number 11 is practice yoga or passive stretching. Yoga is my number one favorite self-care activity and it doesn't need to be scary or intimidating. There's actually a lot of free videos on YouTube that feature beginners yoga. I like yoga with Adrienne. I follow her page and practice her videos fairly often and she uploads all of her videos for free. And in addition to having a ton of physical health benefits, yoga also has a ton of mental health benefits as well. If yoga it does not sound like your jam, even passive stretching can really, really help you relax. Number 12 is to bake. Bake something yummy, cookies, brownies. It doesn't have to be complicated. Betty Crocker is great. You can enjoy the yummy smells and then also have an awesome treat when you're done. Number 13 is to read for enjoyment. And yes, I'm talking to my students out there. Reading for enjoyment can really, really help you, even if it's just 30 minutes a day. You can do that instead of going through your phone at night. Number 14 is to listen to relaxing or enjoyable music. I like to combine some of my self-care activities. Sometimes I'll practice yoga with really relaxing music and then light a few candles. You can also listen to like uplifting or enjoyable music. Music really has this really strong ability to help improve your mood. So give it a try. Number 15 is to connect with others. Call a friend, plan a coffee date. Human connection is so important for positive mental health outcomes for almost all of us. And if you plan an activity with a friend, not only are you getting that connection, but it's also really giving you something to look forward to. Number 16 is to have a spa day. And this doesn't need to be an expensive trip to the spa. You can do it from home. You could do a face mask, moisturize your skin, paint your nails. Do something that makes yourself feel good and do it from home. This can help you feel better and feel more confident. Number 17 is a disconnect. Turn off your phone for a while. Disconnect from social media. Spend some time by yourself in a quiet environment. And you can use this time to do another activity on this list. Number 18 is to do your hair and makeup. Put on an outfit that makes you feel really comfortable and confident. Maybe take a few pictures of yourself. Number 19 is to try something new. This could be cooking a new recipe, maybe taking a dance class or trying a new gym. These ideas can help push you out of your comfort zone, help you learn and help you grow, and maybe even connect with some new people. 20 is to create a list of goals. What are some things that you want to accomplish within the next year or two years? How are you going to get there? Make a plan. 
Number 21 is to find an enjoyable activity that gets you outside. Maybe gardening or swimming, walking, maybe even just laying in the sun for a little bit. Make sure that you wear your sunscreen. Number 22, watch a comedy or videos that make you laugh. Number 23, spend time with your kids or your pets doing something fun and enjoyable. Number 24 is to meditate. And if you have a hard time meditating, there are a ton of guided meditation videos that are available right here on YouTube. So check those out. Number 25 is to take a mental health day every once in a while, a day that you are not doing any kind of work, just a day that you can solely focus on you and incorporate a couple of the activities that are on this list. Well, that is a list of my 25 awesome self-care activities. If you have any activities that I did not list and are helpful for you, put them in the comment box below so other people can get different ideas. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.